because I need the loo. That's charming. But always <laughs> remember that I love you. Lots of love, Ray. Kira says, Happy Valentine's Day, Mummy. I love you with all my heart. Oh. Love, Kira. Oh. 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 Dear me. <laughs> Lovely. Steve, how come she got a poem? <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go with uh, your second chance today to bring a smile to you and your loved one's face with our £3,000 prize. To be in with a chance of winning it, you need to answer this question correctly. Oysters are considered to be an aphrodisiac and can sometimes contain which of the following? Is it A, a ruby, B, a diamond, or C, a pearl? Call 09012 Calls cost £1 from BT Landlines. Calls from mobiles and other networks may be higher. Text WIN plus your answer A, B, or C to 6337. Text cost £1 plus one standard network rate reply message. Digital satellite viewers can enter by pressing their red button now. You can also enter for free at I tv.com entrance must be 18 or over all lines close at 120 best of luck so you've managed to get yourself a man but once you have how do you make sure that you're providing the perfect amount of passion now a good old snog uh, is supposed to be the surefire way but when it comes to locking lips with your loved one is it something that you actually get round to doing now Colleen you you love a good snog don't I, you? absolutely <laughs> it's better than anything else snogging um, yes, I couldn't be without it, actually. I think it's... I just love it. I just absolutely love it. <laughs> um, and I think it's quite sad when you've been together a while and all that, you know, especially the snogging side of things, peters off, doesn't yeah. it? But no, no, not with me. I grab him every opportunity. And even after when that he card, he's, even he's when he's in the winner. office, he'll be on the, you know, be emailing someone really important like that. <laughs> I'm trying to snog his face off at the same time. I just love it. Yeah. I find it so romantic. I find it really, really sensual. So I can't snog so. Steve while he's working. There's a lot of power tools involved. There could be, a, <laughs> could be an accident. You know, I think that there's, there's a little bit in all of us with... When you're young... <laughs> when you're young, you kiss. That's the first thing you do, really, isn't it? You snog. And then you get older and whatever. You, but I think everybody kind of thinks that there's, there's, when there's sort of other things involved, but to actually kiss someone, if you're, if you're feeling a bit, you know, a bit, you know, it's all a bit run of the mill and day to day, if you just go and kiss somebody, just that physical sensation of touching somebody on the lips and that brings it all flooding back Ooh. and away you go again. I just think it, everybody needs to kiss. Can I just it's say Finley's important. had his first kiss. He announced it last week. He, he came, five, he's it? six. Oh. He's now got oh, a girlfriend right, called Catherine, who's beautiful, she's a gorgeous little blonde thing. But yeah, he came bouncing up to me at the school gates and said, Mummy, I kissed Catherine today. I was like, did you? He said, where? And he said, uh, in the line. And I didn't actually, <laughs> mean, I didn't actually mean that. He said, shall I show you? And he dragged her over and went, Catherine, can I kiss you? And she went, like that. So, yes, he's, he's already had his first go. Yeah. She said, I don't yeah. really want anything to come flooding back. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I, think, um, I agree with you. I think that snogging is the, the best part of the relationship because I think it's really, um, it's really sexy and I love it. And I think that it is the first thing to, it is the first thing to go. And I think that Tim and I are guilty of snatching time to, you know, just have a bit of a quickie or whatever. And you don't actually... No, you do no. Because you don't do you mean get a, a lot of... quickie or a snog quickie? No, a quickie, a cup of quickie. tea, children. A yeah, a cup, yeah. Don't yeah. try this a at quick, home. A quick, a quick <laughs> cup of tea. But I think that snogging is one of the first things to go, and I think that Tim and I have been guilty about sometimes letting that lapse. And also, when I do try to snog him, and he just does that, oh, stop, stop slopping on. No, he <laughs> kind of puts you off. You. Yes, he does. No, because last time he... I was in your kitchen, he went, come here, pet, and you went, oh, what do you want? And you were all like that. And I was going, well, yes, that's you, and, you and Ray were there, but you tongues down each other's throat every opportunity. <laughs> but, I mean, sometimes it's because, you know, you're at home, you've got kids, and it's difficult to sort of keep the, the passion going. Going. Sometimes, yes. well, to, no, to just generally sort of keep the full sort of passion thing going. Sometimes you need to get away. You need mm. to sort of remove yourself from your, your normal environment. Do you, do you like to go on sort of weekend romantic breaks and this sort of I thing? I love to go on weekend romantic breaks. I never go because I'm actually with Mr. Unromantic, who just never. <laughs> Did you not hear that lovely out. poem? No, that was a lovely poem, and um, yeah, it was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> But a nice <laughs> weekend break would be quite nice Tim as well. But something very good at that. We, we, yeah. we said before that we'd like to set them a challenge of doing, sort of organising it, because it would be so romantic to have them take the lead. Yeah. Whether or not I would allow that to happen, I don't know. Well, you wouldn't. I would. 
Would I you? would. I'd let Ray organise it. Yeah, I think I just would be worried that he'd have forgotten to say something. Mr Spain did at uh, New Year. He said, I've, I've organised for us to go to Paris for New Year's Eve. I went, oh, don't waste your money. I can't oh, remember. Linda! <laughs> I'm sorry, but it seems such a waste of money. Oh, but also, Linda, as well, awful. apparently there was some sort of survey where out and said, you know, most people go to Paris because it's the height mm. of romance, and that's the place where most people row. And, and fall out. Yeah, but I'm not bothered about Paris or anywhere like that. I mean, I live, you know, an hour away from the Lake District, which is beautiful, and I think it's more romantic to go into a lovely little B and B with a big log fire and all but that. But half the time you go, I and then you feel. end up talking about the kids all the time. Yeah. That's the thing. You've got to almost you stop. Yes, you've you got do. to relax. So you've got to learn to. I must say, it is important to learn to cut off. You really, truly have to put that behind you. You know, mine are older now, obviously. Then. Mm. Louis and Kira, but you must, I think, it's very good to just... Because sometimes it's a bit of a shock to be time. faced with the one you love when you've usually got all that background stuff yeah. going on, isn't it? It is. It's quite nice, though. <laughs> OK, it's time for one final break. When we get back, will love be in the air for Denise? We're going to be joined by Tim Healy. <laughs> but first, take a look at who's dropping by tomorrow. <laughs> one standard network rate reply message. Digital satellite viewers can enter by pressing their red button now. You can also enter for free at ITV.com. Entrance must be 18 or over. All lines close at 1.20. Best of luck. All entry lines close at 1.20, so if you do try to enter after this time, you may still be charged. Now, we've had a few emails in, but just got time to read one out, because it's a very important one. Um, if your name is Lauren Taylor, sit up and listen to this. Hi, girls. I need a bit of help from you all. Could you tell my girlfriend, Lauren Taylor, that I love her and will she marry me? Oh. This is from Dale. Oh. Let us know how you get on, Lauren. Oh, I know. Wow. Isn't that nice? Oh, that's oh, that's I hope she's in and not shopping. I know. <laughs> <laughs> or what if this is Sky Plus and she's not watching it till tomorrow? Oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's been a little while since we last saw our final guest for today and I'm sure at times he must feel like he's one of the loose lineup since we hear about him so much whether he's in trouble for using the downstairs loo or getting drunk on the ski slopes he joins us today to fill us in on all things romantic <laughs> please welcome the long-suffering other half of our very own Denise Welsh Mr Tim Healy <laughs> That down. brings back memories. Oh. <laughs> Hello, you walrus of love. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. So come you on. You snogged me last weekend, Sunday night you did. When did I? After the concert, remember? In oh, the bar, that's right. In front of everybody. That's right, that's why I had a rash. She I did. had a rash. She she <laughs> so what, would you say that Denise is romantic, or are you the romantic one in this in this partnership? Well, to be honest, we, we don't really take it that seriously, do we? I mean, uh, no. You make me a pie. He no, makes I mean, me a steak yeah. and kidney pie and puts yeah. my initials on it. Yeah. See, that's oh. lovely. Sometimes I put your name on the top and a heart. Oh. oh. Yeah. That's yeah. lovely. Yeah. What, what's but, the most romantic thing you've ever done for Denise? That's about it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You, you took me to when when you were wooing 